All right. So I'm excited to see this. We've got Yanni versus Schnigli. Schnigli, of course, back in town. Uh, was with us previously here in Michigan. Moved down to NBVA for some school and stuff. And here he is, returned for the holiday weekend. And he's here to compete. So we've got ourselves, I don't think this is winners. This is losers finals, I believe. Oh my, stop it. He's dead. He's actually dead. Oh, oh, he, no. Schnig. <laughs> That is so sad. He, F Smash would definitely have killed, but I think he uh, accidentally inputted the four tilt. Nonetheless, Shinigli still holding off in the neutral here. Uh, definitely setting himself up in a good position. Gonna be using the Fire Breath to get some extra damage at the ledge. But Bowser Jr., uh, definitely a difficult matchup, I feel, for Bowser if you don't know the matchup. Uh, Bowser Jr. has a lot of tools to really juggle Bowser, keep him at disadvantage. Um, and the F Smash two frame is a real pain to deal with. So I really want to see how Shigley is going to approach this matchup. And I want to see the cool stuff Yanni's going to do. Managing to take the first stock there, and he's doing some uh, Bowser Jr. stuff. This is what I was talking about. You get one cart, and then you get an up air, and you just get so much damage. There's really not a lot Bowser can do about that. So Bowser's got to focus on, you know, calling out when he's going to approach with a cart and uh, capitalizing on it defensively. Uh, I think he tried uh, to call him out going high, but side B will take the stock. 65% is really nothing for Bowser. And that's what I was talking about there, calling out the uh, aggressive approach with the cart. But Yanni's got him set up on ledge here. It's going to be really difficult for Bowser to get off. Kind of the difficult thing for heavies to deal with just in general in this game is being on ledge. It's very difficult. All right, getting our up throw, up air. I like that up B. Uh, maybe catching Yanni doing a jump or doing that cart. And Schnigli is slowly but surely bringing this back. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about. It's so difficult to deal with that because there's only so much you can do to mix up your timing, getting back to ledges, Bowser. Uh, Shinigli did save his jump, but it's still not enough. Yanni doing a great job holding center stage here, um, winning most of the neutral interactions. Uh, Shinigli was looking for an up tilt there, um, a little bit too early. Ends up getting a punish for it. And I noticed that Yanni's hitting a lot of these, um, I don't, what are those called, like the magic wand? Um, Shingly's got to respect that move just a little bit more. So I would say that was a sort of convincing win there for Yanni. Um, I think that he just did a good job of mixing up the cart approaches. And he did a great job uh, harassing Shingly off stage. I feel like a lot of times Shingly was caught either getting two framed at the ledge or he's just taking a lot of damage trying to get back onto the stage. And as we saw that entire first game, you know, Yanni was very good at holding center stage. So I'd like to see what adaptation Shingly can make here going into game two. And it's going to be FD. Um, FD. Traditionally not a great stage for Bowser, but I think that what Schnigli is going for here is uh, not allowing Yanni to punish him with aerial extensions on the platforms. Uh, trying to minimize the damage that you're taking when you lose neutral. Uh, feeling that, I guess he must be pretty comfortable in the kill power that he has to where he doesn't need a platform to like side B uh, Yanni off of. And I've noticed that Yanni is getting a lot of value out of the uh, up at ledge. It feels like, uh, I feel like Schnigli has felt like he's needed to make a, you know, quick option choice whenever he does that. I think he might want to instead, you know, drop from ledge, re-grab the ledge. Up oh, not going to take it, but he's in a really bad position. He's Narrowly avoids that F smash. Wow, Saibi will take it. That's the power of rage. Up smash will do it, unfortunately. Oh shit. Can't be unfortunate. Uh, no commentator buys. Uh, Yanni takes that stock. <laughs> 
All right, a lot of damage here, and Bowser at ledge, not a good scene. Schnigly evening it up. I like that flame breath. I think that Schnigly knew he was going to be approaching with the cart, and he puts that up there as a sort of defensive tool to keep Yanni out. Getting a lot of damage in the process, and right there we're seeing some adaptation from Schnigly, holding shield on the uppy, and then managing to find a down smash. So this counter pick seems to be really working out for him. Uppy will not do it, but we're probably going to see a F smash edge guard. Yep, and that's what I was talking about. That tool is just so good for Yanni in this matchup. Grab should be a lot of damage. Up he had a shield, yep. Yeah, Schnigley is just winning from neutral directions. Back to back, oh my god. Gucci, can I see a repeat, please? Yanni did not know how to behave. Schnigley just burned him up and then ye F smash. This entire this entire conversion was just awesome. I mean he was just one step ahead of Yanni at each point along the way. Uh, calling out the cart with the flame breath, and then he just says, all right, I'm going to F-Smash. See ya, dude. <laughs> I hadn't seen Yanni use a lot of spot dodge, so that was a really big call for Schnigley to make. So Nice highlight there. Game three, we will be going to Kalos. I know that before this set, uh, Shigley was talking with a friend about this matchup, what kind of tools are good to use in it, so um, it's good to see him applying some of that here. I really think the Fire Breath has been doing a good job with that. evening things up. He's been getting a lot of grabs. I think he's been catching Yanni landing with uh, unsafe aerials or just landing with a whiff move. He's been able to get big damage out of it. Side B will do it, yep. Alright, this is Yanni's counter pick, so I'd like to see what he can do here. Uh, Schnigley, though, just getting so much mileage out of grabs. Really looking like he's comfortable in this matchup. Again, putting up that flame breath. All right, F smash, that's a little brazy, dude. <laughs> and I, d I just haven't seen Yanni get the same um, value out of Schnigley being at ledge as he has in the previous games. It sort of looks like Schnigley has caught on to some of his uh, tricks there. But this should be a stop. F smash, if he's able to land it, which he is. So Yanni answering back. We've got a pretty close game here. Probably going to see a flame breath from Schnigley. Nope, just going to be patient, hold the shield, get his up beat punish. Wonderful call out the jumps in the up air. No. Going to use fair, going to keep Yanni off stage. But Yanni wisely going high, manages to get back onto the stage here. And now he's able to get some damage. Uh, but Schnigley aggressively using that downer, going to take the stock. It is a deceptively strong move. Great tool for Bowser. I think that's honestly part of the reason why Bowser might be the best heavy because he's got that great down air to sort of get him out of disadvantage when he's up above because a lot of heavies struggle to land in this game and that's such an amazing tool for Bowser to have. You're able to mix up your timing and also like do a lot of damage with it too. Something I've noticed is that uh, Schnigli is just jumping from ledge immediately which is good for him because Yanni has been punishing but I think that Yanni needs to start punishing that. Nice patience there from Yanni. Sort of baited that he was going to be going in hard with the card. And then uh, was able to find an aerial. Now he's got Shigley off stage for potentially an edge guard. But jab does not work, but Bowser can recover. A tragedy. Either way, Schnigley has really set himself up in a good position here. I'd be surprised if he's not able to close it out. He's just playing very disciplined right now. Good DI in the down air. Yanni able to live that. Looking for a two frame with down tilt. Not able to find it. And this is a little bit dangerous for Bowser now because one good interaction from Yanni, he's going to be getting him above him, but Schnigley says no. I will side B you. 
so. Wait, is it?